What's an insult that sounds like a compliment? I love what you're trying to do with your hair. Good for you. My grandma used to tell us that if you ever met an ugly baby you should said. Wow that is some baby. Wow, my grandma would love that outfit. You're at the top of the bell curve. I don't care what everybody else says. I think you're pretty cool. My grandma always says people are good and kind when they get on her nerves. They think she's a sweet old lady when she's really saying they're good for nothing and kind of stupid. I got it engraved on a mug for her. Your sister is beautiful and you are smart. Friends and I do this thing where you add the word actually to an otherwise normal compliment in order to make it backhanded. E. G. Hey you're actually pretty smart. That outfit is really brave. That's nice, dear. You look healthy. Where I'm from. The nice way of saying someone has gotten fat. You're much smarter than you look. You're so confident. To my friend, you have cooler friends than I do. At least you tried your best. Every positive thing an older British person tells you, they're the masters of sarcasm. With all due respect, when it's clear none is due. You are impossible to underestimate. Edit. Thanks for gold. Your dick is so cute. One of the guys I was dating told me. You share your emotions and feelings quite often. I took it as I probably talk too much about things and shouldn't, but he told me that no it's a good thing and it helps, still made me think twice the next time I wanted to share things. My wife once said, I just love your cute little way of living, with total sincerity. You have completely met my expectations. Wow, you're so brave, or, I wish I had your confidence, said completely deadpan, at an exclamation point and the vibe can be changed. You're pretty for a big girl. And I'm thinking you weren't burdened with an overabundance of schooling. Tilda Malcolm Reynolds. This book fills a much needed void. The classic. I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. This is coming from a retail worker to a full Karen. In the words of the late Reverend Spooner. You are a shining wit. It's the most British insult I know. For the uninitiated, a Spoonerism is where you swap the starting sounds of two words. So shining wit becomes. You always look so comfortable. You've got a face for radio. Out of all the people I've met, you are definitely one of them. See you later, not if I see you first. I always thought it was just a cheesy response. But no, the implication is that if you see the other person, you bail before they see you. I bet you spent a lot of time thinking that one through, implying whatever was said or done was of poor quality and bringing into question their intelligence as it took a while to think up a poor plan. Good for you. Said with the right amount of enthusiasm has very entertaining results as you watch their face change in realization after saying thanks. I admire you, you don't let your confidence get in the way of your shortcomings. You have a unique face. To an overweight person that knows she's overweight. Well looks me up and down you're healthy. I d k y but the comment alone irritates me. Well, I enjoyed this conversation. It was very nice. It was like talking to the sweet. Old lady on the bus. Michael Scott. Chair model. Episode. He tries. You look so pretty I didn't even recognize you. My mom said that to me one day when I was leaving for high school. She totally didn't mean it to be an insult. But I felt that one. I was doing a timed work skills test a month into a new job and it took me forever so he let me do it again. It took just as long the second time and he said. Well, at least you're consistent. It's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. Abe Froman. You talk so eloquently. You speak so well, towards a black person as if we all talk like we're from the depths if the hood. May your life be as interesting as the repost you did. Edit. Thanks for the awards. My life is complete now. I can die in peace. If you are in the south, bless your heart. In the line at Walmart there was an old lady and a man trying to figure out how much money they needed to pay and when I said the amount, he told me that I was pretty smart for being a girl. You are the funniest person you know. I like to use that on strangers who are sarcastic to me. They usually come back with yup and a shit-eating grin. I must go now. Talking with you has been mostly enjoyable. You look good today. 
You haven't changed a bit. You look like you've lost some weight. I just can't think of enough good things to say about Karen. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and he likeless than half of you half as well as you deserve. Wow, you're much nicer than I was expecting. Every good insult sounds like a compliment. Well, you aren't that fat. Anything starting with, no offense, but. You look better with glasses. We can't all be astronauts. You'd look mighty pretty on a moonless night. You're the kind of woman that Van Gogh would cut an ear off for. Any variation of comments like, I love your confidence, or worse, I wish I had your confidence. When a not so skinny girl posts a picture in a revealing outfit or a bikini. Even if you mean well it's so backhanded to me. God bless your heart. You must have a lot of chromosomes. I love how you just wear anything. You're smarter than you look. You're at the very top of the bell curve. Implying you're just average. Telling someone they're on the lower right side of the curve however. That means you're among the top 1% of whatever. I'm amazed you managed that. They think it's a compliment. While you're wondering how they are still breathing without hourly reminder.